Hey everyone, this is Two Way Enthusiast. I'm here with another, uh, well, let's call it a uh, kind of a classic gun video. I know some of you are big revolver fans, and some of you like big revolvers. I have just the opposite for you here today. I have a Harrington and Richardson uh, 22 short vest pocket revolver. Now, as you could probably tell by looking at it, like me, this has seen better days. You can see there's uh, some wear on the finish. Um, the grips, not looking too good. I ended up getting this on, on Gun Broker a while back. Um, well, it was interesting. I mean, I know it was kind of damaged, but it still functions. I actually took it out not long ago. Uh, just to be safe, though, I, uh, I used CCI um, 22 Short Subsonic. And if you've never used those before, I really suggest you try them out sometimes. Um, it kind of brings you back to your childhood. It sounded like one of my old cap guns. It's kind of funny when people are shooting AR-15s and AK-47s and you're there with, you know, a 90-year-old revolver shooting 22 short subsonic. Kind of funny. But I just wanted to, you know, let you take a look at it because it's an interesting piece and I figured those of you who like historical firearms would get a kick out of it. So let's just take this apart here. Now, as you probably know with some of these old firearms, there's a lever right here. You push that and then you pull the pin out and then the cylinder pops right out of there. Now this one right here is a seven shot cylinder. So we have see, seven shots. Take a look right there. You know, I could just, I could just, from what I understand with the vest pocket revolvers, I guess it was one of those things that, you know, people like to carry around to card games, you know, kind of a just in case across the table kind of gun. Uh, you could tell there are no sights on it. You wouldn't want to do um, any target shooting with this, that's one thing for sure. I mean, besides the fact that it has about a one inch barrel, no sights, uh, not much to really grip onto. I got like a finger and a half on here. And, uh, you know, trigger pull, as you would expect, is uh, stow. I mean, not really that bad, to be honest with you. I've had worse, and I've certainly had better. But uh, definitely a cool little gun to pick up. I'd actually like to get one in nice condition. Like I said, this functions okay, not not the, the you know, not perfect by any means, but like I said, I paid under $50 for it, and uh, I just wanted it basically for a curiosity or, you know, just a conversation piece, because I think it's a really cool, uh, really cool uh, revolver to have. It's not going to replace your 500 Smith & Wesson, but, you know, as far as having character and being a conversation piece, it's hard to beat. Okay, uh, one other thing. Uh, I believe this was also uh, made in, uh, say, late 20s. So, from my understanding, it was shaped, uh, safe to use smokeless powders and all that good stuff. So, um, like I said, do your own research if you get one. Uh, definitely check them out. Like I said, I found mine on Gunbroker. All right, guys, this is Two Way Enthusiast. Keep checking back for some other videos. I have a few other old uh, pistols and revolvers I'd like to show you guys. All right, see you later.